after <laughs> going through the history of printing presses and we came to know that news gathering uh, activities also started uh, when uh, they found that people are very much interested in news. Uh, so when news gathering activities started, then uh, news publishers, uh, they found that it is not possible to send correspondence everywhere uh, because it is very expensive kind of thing and you cannot ensure that your correspondence is available in each and every country, each and every capital city of the state or capital city of all the countries. So that's why we find that and in every continent. Right, so that's why you find that uh, new agencies started emerging. It's a kind of new business, news business, that uh, there are so many publishers, so especially news agencies are beneficial for small scale publishers, right? Uh, take the example of small newspaper like ours in Bihar. If they want to run their newspaper, it is not possible to uh, send a correspondence everywhere because they are very uh, small newspaper. They don't have enough fund for uh, sending their correspondence. So uh, they can uh, get services of uh, various news agencies. And from there, they can get all the stories. So this is the way news agencies started functioning. So when we try to define news agencies, uh, encyclopedia says that news agency, also called press agency, press association, wire service, or news service. These are various names of the same uh, thing. Uh, organizations, organization that gathers, writes, and distributes news from around the nation or the world to newspapers, periodicals, radio, and television broadcasters government agencies and other users. So this is what is you can understand by this definition that these are the functions of a new agency. What they do, they are, uh, they are there are various names of agency and what they do, they gather, write and distribute news, right? Uh, it means their reporters gather news, they sit back and they write their stories and after that, they distribute uh, that story uh, to various uh, stakeholders or various, uh, uh, I mean, uh, subscribers. Right? You cannot get the agency directly because it is for news organizations. Uh, individual cannot access news agency feeds. Right? So they distribute it to whom they distribute? They distribute at national level or world level to newspapers, periodicals, radio, television. And even some government agencies also, government uh, have some agencies, they also have news feeds so that they can get updated stories directly from news agency. They should not uh, uh, wait for uh, the stories in television. So they get uh, raw data from agencies. So for government services, uh, they have uh, agencies have some specialized kind of services also. Uh, so that uh, they can provide them the required information. Government uh, do not want uh, information of each and every happenings. They want a very important kind of information, some political development, some uh, uh, um, diplomatic development. So these kind of studies they want. So that kind of studies are being provided by, uh, by agencies to government agencies directly. And some other users, other users, maybe some other organizations who are dealing with publications. So this is the whole definition of uh, news agency. It does not generally publish news itself, but supplies news to its subscribers who by sharing costs obtain services they could not otherwise afford. As I told you that uh, it is not affordable. You cannot send their uh, your uh, correspondent everywhere. So it is very easy just to get uh, services of agency and you can uh, have uh, the news. And agencies uh, can have their correspondence everywhere because they have many subscribers. For example, suppose one newspaper is sending their correspondence. So all the costs uh, uh, are uh, uh, on them only, right? So 
but news agency get cost from all different type of organizations and then they can send their correspondence it is very easy for them to send correspondence everywhere because they have huge number of subscribers and they get money from them so that's why news agencies uh, are flourishing right so these are some uh, role of news agencies if we try to simplify it it provides foreign news to indian subscribers it provides indian news to foreign agencies it provides news news analysis feature on different subjects like economic science human interest political activities and society so they provide all type of one thing is raw news but they also provide analysis also right for example uh, suppose uh, they can provide some analysis of uh, budget they can provide some analysis of some policies of the government they can write some features also they also write some features suppose there is a, a birth date of some great personality so uh, on that occasion they provide some feature uh, to news organizations and many news organizations get those details from agencies and they add up some new information to that the news provided by the agency and they publish it so they also provide features also right to the uh, uh, their sub the subscribers it also provides minute to minute details of share market so it's a share scan kind of thing that uh, you always if you go to business section uh, when you uh, get all these feeds all these feeds are divided into different sections business national international sports so you can switch over from one uh, tab to another one section to another and you can get uh, all the details and in business section they keep updating uh, the rates of share market i mean the Uh, how share market is functioning what is the current uh, uh, rate of uh, shares in share market share market is booming or is getting down so this kind of information they also get minute to minute update they also provide right so they these are some important international news agencies and uh, you should remember these agencies at least right these are very important agencies First is Associated Press, that is AP in short form. It is called AP, and it is uh, uh, in USA, right? So USA has this agency. Another is AFP, Agency France Presse, that is AFP. This belong to France. Pan African uh, News Agency, obviously it belongs to uh, Africa. Middle East News Agency, MENA. Then Kyoto News, it belongs to Japan. Reuters UK UK means United Kingdom or England you can say uh, then TASS uh, it belongs to USSR then uh, ANSA it belongs to Italy and China News Service CNS and Xinhua these two news agencies uh, belong to China and Novosti Press Agency this again it belongs to USSR so these are some important news agencies so let us uh, discuss about some of the important news agency uh, so that you may understand that uh, how they function and uh, what kind of thing they do and how old they are so uh, the first one is associated press the ap is the backbone of the world's information system with 242 total bureau worldwide now you can understand 242 bureau means they are covering 242 places of the world obviously 242 places means 242 or capital cities or some important cities it does not mean that it is only one bureau in one nation they might have uh, uh, three four bureau in one nation suppose in india they may have a bureau in kolkata they may have a bureau in delhi one in bangalore so that they can cover whole country so in this way they have to 242 bureau worldwide ap was established in 1848 with the old agency and it has 8500 international subscribers who receive ap news and photos now you may understand that how big it is 8500 international subscribers means that the 500 uh, publishers or broadcasters are getting services of ap right so uh, and they provide news and photos uh, then in usa only it serves 7000 radio and television stations and 1700 newspapers even only in usa 
and it is uh, it is serving this much uh, publishers and broadcasters right so ap is very important ap provides its services a, a to 121 countries and it has around 8500 newspaper 5000 radio tv outlet subscribers overseas right and it provides services in five languages english german dutch french and spanish so their focus is on uh, european countries and uh, usa and uh, ap feeds we also get ap feed in english uh, in india uh, so indian subscribers are also there the reports are translated in many more languages by overseas people. suppose in india when we get uh, ap feeds we translate it into hindi and ap feeds uh, uh, is being provided by uni or far country uni is our agency so uni get feeds from ap and they translate into uh, hindi and they provide it to us right this is how uh, they do so it is being translated in other languages also so this is the uh, i mean these are the five languages in which they primarily provide uh, stories uh, the ap has received 47 pulitzer award right and the ap has received 28 photo pulitzer we understand photo pulitzer means the, the pulitzer prize is also given to photo journalists also so excellent photos get pulitzer award so 47 pulitzer award uh, on uh, overall uh, for journalism and 28 uh, pulitzer award for photo only so this is the i mean greatness of this agency that the how serious work they uh, do now come to afp afp is world's oldest agency why because it was established in 1835 and the ap was established in 1848 so it, it is this is older one and the person who established afp was charles louis havers Havis is considered father of global journalism, obviously, because uh, he had this idea that they can have one agency, and agency may provide content to all over the world. So that's why he is considered father of global journalism, and its headquarters is in Paris. Its regional centers are in Washington, Hong Kong, Nicosia, and Montevideo. AP provides its services to 165 countries. and coverage is organized around five regions so they have divided whole world into five regions uh, one is uh, north america headquarter is washington uh, second is latin america headquarter is montevideo asia pacific region they have one uh, headquarter that is in hong kong right so asia pacific regions uh, i mean then europe africa its headquarter is paris and middle east Uh, headquarters in nicosia so these are the five centers from which they uh, provide stories and uh, they cover these uh, areas through these centers ap provides services in six languages uh, french english german spanish portuguese and arabic also this is it for middle east they are providing stories in arabic also so ap in that sense you will find that afp has wider reach as far as providing content is concerned because they are con uh, concentrating on other languages other than european uh, regions because spanish uh, sorry uh, arabic is not an uh, european language but they are providing content in arabic also now reuters reuters new agency established in 1851 by paul julius reuter in london paul was german born immigrant Uh, Reuters is world's largest multimedia agency, which covers 130 countries through 197 bureaus. Multimedia agency means Reuters provides video also. They provide video content also. That's why it is world's largest. Because I mean, all the agencies have their own USP. So Reuters is uh, focusing on multimedia content. Reuters connect with around 2.5 lakh financial professionals through its instant messaging services. right so i mean uh, they have some instant messaging services also so uh, they are financial services so if uh, reuters what they do reuters provide them instant messages regarding share market regarding some new development in share market so so that they they uh, can get uh, information directly on their phones right they need not to go to some uh, Uh, agency feeds or some uh, other uh, uh, medium, but they may get all the information directly on their phone. So that's why 
Reuters uh, provides this kind of uh, curated kind of information also. In 1865, Reuters was first agency to break the news of Lincoln assassination. Right. So these are some uh, important, uh, uh, I mean, the coverage of uh, uh, Reuters. Reuters was first to report the news about Berlin Wall being built in 1951. In 1989, Reuters was first to report about fall of Berlin Wall in 1950. So, I mean, Reuters was the first who was reporting that Berlin Wall uh, is being built. And when it falls, then also Reuters was the first agency to report this. Now come to Indian news agency. Uh, there are two uh, Indian news agency. One is PTI, that is Press Trust of India. And another is UNI, that is United News of India. These are, I mean, uh, uh, running uh, news agencies. There are some other also who came into being, then stopped functioning. So we will come to those agencies also later on. So first discuss about these two agencies, right? So PTI, Best Trust of India, is India's premier news agency, right? It employs more than 400 journalists and 500 springers to cover almost every district and a small town in India. So PTI have try to cover whole India. Uh, uh, and uh, they put out more than 2,000 stories and 200 photographs a day to feed the expensive appetite of the diverse subscribers. So you may understand that 2,000 stories daily basis uh, they generate uh, and 200 photographs they provide to their subscribers and who include the mainstream media, the specialist presses, uh, specialized presses, research groups, companies, and government and non-governmental organizations. So they are providing uh, content to all these subscribers. So let us uh, look at the history of PTI. Uh, PTI was registered in 1947 and started functioning in 1949. So in 1910, Associated Press of India was established by KC Roy. In 1919, Reuters took over operations of API, okay, but still used API credit line. Reuters, in 1909, Reuters took API, but I mean, they kept using credit line API. In 1945, API registered as a private limited Indian company under the ownership of Reuters. So this is how API came into being that in 1910, one person established API that was Associated Press of India. And then in, in 1909, uh, Reuters took over operations of API. Uh, but in 1945, they registered API as private company. In 1947, Press Trust of India incorporated in Madras, uh, now Chennai. And in 1949, uh, PTI took over operations from API but maintained link with Reuters. So API now run by PTI, PTI took over the API, but link with Reuters and PTI is still continues. In 1953, PTI became independent of Reuters. So now, uh, because Reuters established that private company, so in 1953, PTI became independent. 1976, PTI Economic Services launched. In 1900. 80, PTI feature services launched. In 1986, PTI TV launched. So these are the various services they kept, uh, I mean, uh, including in their wide service. In 1986, they started PTI Bhasha. PTI Bhasha, uh, it is a Hindi uh, version of PTI. So PTI Bhasha provide uh, uh, stories in Hindi. So it is beneficial for Hindi uh, newspapers or Hindi channels because they get Hindi content from the agency. So they need not to uh, translate English content. Before 1986, they had to get content in English only and they had to translate it into Hindi if they, they are running uh, a Hindi newspaper. So considering the thing and considering the area of Hindi belt uh, and the way Hindi newspapers were flourishing, PTI decided to launch its own service in Hindi language. So PTI Bhasha uh, launched in 1986. In 1987, stock scan and photo service launch. Stock scan, scan means uh, stock rates, all these kind of things. So you can go there and you can, you can get uh, 
uh, I mean, current rates of uh, the share uh, on uh, there, right? Photo services also lost. In 1919, PTI celebrated Golden, Golden Jubilee. And in 2003, PTI launched delivery of its news through the internet. So before that, as I uh, told you earlier, that there is to be a teleprinter in every news organization. Right, and the, uh, you go there, and news uh, uh, used to keep coming uh, through a paper roll. But in 2003, PPI introduced uh, uh, news through internet, so now you can get uh, the news uh, on your desktop or only. You know, not to uh, I mean, waste all, all those papers through teleprint. So this is the new. So what I am uh, trying to say is that you do not need to remember all these years right you just have to remember that how various uh, new services kept building and kept uh, introduced uh, by pti uh, in uh, following years so pti kept introducing all these services but one thing you must remember that in which year pti bhasa launched because it is important because uh, you are having hindi uh, content uh, on uh, uh, in agency. So, PTI Bhasa launched in 1986. You need to remember this. Now, come to UNI. UNI, that is United News uh, of India, was launched in 1961. UNI, with 325 journalists and 250 stringers, cover 100 locations in India and abroad. Right? So, UNI is not focusing only in India, they have their correspondents in other countries also. Right. So all over they are covering 100 locations, 100 important locations for worldwide. It serves more than 1000 subscribers. So, I mean, if you compare Indian agency uh, to other agencies like APA, P and Reuters, you will find that Indian agency uh, uh, have less subscribers. They don't, they are not covering, uh, I mean, that much uh, uh, as done by uh, Reuters and AP. But it's okay, it is Indian based agencies. So, anyway, we are, uh, UNI is, uh, is trying to cover 100 locations uh, of wall. UNI has correspondents in major world cities such as Washington, London, Dubai, Singapore, Islamabad, Dhaka, Chit. So, these are some important locations. UNI launched a number of specialized services like a weekly backgrounder service in 1968 on current issues. So, uh, what they do, they uh, give all the details, they give weekly uh, analysis of a particular story, a particular development, right? So they started in 1968. In 1970, UNI Agriculture News and Feature Service started. Uh, it's an arrangement with AP. As I told you earlier, that uh, UNI uh, takes story from AP, uh, GG of Japan, and Eastern New Agency of Bangladesh. So they get stories from all the agencies and they translate into Hindi and they provide it in English also. Even AP uh, news are provided to UNI and UNI provide these stories to their subscribers. So these arrangements are working uh, here. So UNI wire service is available in three languages, English, Hindi, and Urdu. So Hindi service, Univarta launched in 1982. So again, this needs to be remembered. So, uh, as I was telling you that they get stories from AP in English and through their uh, Hindi agency like Univarta, they translate into Hindi and they provide it in Hindi. So, it is very much easy for Hindi publishers. Urdu service was launched in 1992. So, as we know that there are so many Urdu newspapers also. So, uh, they provide uh, Urdu uh, uh, stories. Uh, uh, to uh, the Urdu publishers, and it was launched in 1992. Other services started by UNI. So UNI scan as news service fed directly to the television sets. UNI Darshan, a TV wing, to provide news features, news clips, and documentaries to Doordarshan. So UNI Darshan is a multimedia content. UNI Darshan provide multimedia content, right? So <clears throat> then UNI scan news display on TV sets for hotels, government, and corporate houses. So they have this service that you and I provide important stories directly to your TV set. So this kind of 
services uh, is required by government uh, uh, officers suppose uh, our prime minister want important developments uh, directly on his tv set so uh, pmo should have this service union as can so they so that i mean and all all other ministries also right so this kind union direct services uh, these services for executives in government corporation and other services so directly they provide stories to you you and i graphics ready to use computer design graphics so you and i also design graphics and it provided to you suppose some train accidents happens suppose some economic decision has been taken so they make uh, graphs of all those decisions and, and it is provided to you so that you can use it in your newspaper uh, by giving them paid obviously there are some other new agencies also which uh, came into being but uh, uh, they did not survive or they did not work uh, uh, for long period of time one such agency was hindustan samachar or someone uh, says it hindustan samachar right so these uh, agency this agency was also started uh, uh, this was a multilingual agency and it was set up in 1948 by ss apte right so it, i mean this hindustan samachar basically they were interested in providing content in regional languages because uh, uh, pti and uni they were very much focused on providing content in english only and as we saw that they started their hindi services uh, in uh, 1980s so that's why uh, to fill that gap hindustan samachar was launched so that they may provide content in indian languages so the, he first uh, i mean targeted uh, ten languages and uh, this agency started providing providing content in bengali odia assamese telugu malayalam urdu punjabi gujarati hindi and marathi so they were uh, they started to provide content in indian languages a uh, year after a state of emergency was declared in in india in 1975 Hindustan Samachar was merged with Press Trust of India. United News of India and Samachar Bharti to form the media monopoly Samachar. Right. So as we know that during emergency, all the agencies were were merged into one. So at that time, all agency were merged and uh, they the uh, one new one agency was formed that was samachar and all agencies was merged into this so hindustan samachar was also merged into this one agency later on uh, when emergency ended uh, all agencies started functioning uh, separately but hindustan samachar uh, was not launched again uh, again uh, in recent years uh, i found that they are trying to launch it again but uh, uh, i don't think they are successful yeah ins this is one another agency of india ins uh, was founded by indian american publisher gopal raju as the indian india abroad news service the full form of my ins is india abroad news service it was later renamed the indo asian news service right so they have changed their uh, for, i mean uh, uh, focus area Uh, earlier it was india abroad news service now they have decide, decided that no they will pro, they will focus on indo asian areas so the ins has main offices located in noida the ins reports about india with news views and analysis about the country across a wide range of subjects so basically ins if you go to the ins feeds you will find that ins is not very interested in providing uh, raw news right they write features they provide analysis so their features are really good uh, they have some good writers so the features analysis so we get ins uh, uh, data ins feed many news organizations they get ins feed just for this kind of analysis and features they don't go uh, to ins for raw uh, information for raw information they always go to pti or uni even pti is more uh, uh, i mean uh, into this Uh, because pti has little more uh, correspondents all over the india so pti is first in providing any content even uni uh, because as i was working in industry i found that uni 
uh, is little late in providing the content, but the PTI provides it instantly. So obviously, uh, all uh, the PTI is used uh, widely in uh, uh, various uh, publication houses. Uh, and uh, even we used to go to YNS uh, when I was in industry. So uh, we used to go to YNS just for feature uh, write-up or some analysis kind of thing. So, but yes, they have, they provide, I mean, very, uh, um, I mean, impressive kind of uh, write-up uh, on the subject they cover. Uh, there is one another new agency uh, that was Free Press of India, an Indian nationalist supporting news agency founded in the 1920s by Swaminathan Sadhanan during the period of the British Raj. It was the first new agency owned and managed by Indians. The agency failed to obtain substantial support from Indian owned press and hence closed down in 1935. It was revived briefly between 1945 and 1947, but we did not get government support. So obviously, if you are running an agency and if you don't get subscribers, then how will you uh, get your cost? How will you get your profit? So that's why it was started, but uh, it did not, uh, uh, <coughs> I mean, uh, succeed. And in 1935, it was closed out. And uh, this is the thing with the uh, place of India. Uh, and then another one, another uh, new agency was Samachar Bharti. Its headquarters is in Bhopal, and it is a non-profit cooperative uh, kind of agency. And uh, it is it is providing uh, its content to 500 newspapers. Its main focus is the production of independent news and analysis about events and processes affecting economic, social, and political development. So basically, they don't want to be influenced by any other foreign agencies or some other agencies, they are trying to uh, produce independent news analysis. Samachar Bharti began its operation in 1967, supported by the government of Bihar, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and Karnataka, which held almost 50% of its chairs. Jayaprakash Narayan was its first chairman, uh, and in 1973, it started an annual reference manual in Hindi called Desh or Dunya. It also had a feature service Bharti. Its current editor is Salander Singh. So Samatar Bharti is still running, but uh, it's very limited. Very few new organizations are getting services with Samatar Bharti. But uh, yes, if uh, someone asks you that uh, how many, uh, many new agencies uh, are in India, so you can name UNI, Samachar Bharti, uh, then uh, <coughs> PTI, uh, then the Hindi service of PTI, PTI Bhasa, Hindi service of UNI, UNI Vata, then, uh, uh, I mean, uh, then one other uh, agency was, we discussed about it, that is INS, Indo Asia News uh, Service. Uh, then some other news agencies were also Free Press of India and uh, Hindustan Samachar. So these were uh, started, but they were not. Uh, I mean, they were closed down uh, later on. So these, this is the thing about news agency. So now I think uh, you got all the uh, details of the agencies. So thank you.